All right, in this video, we're going to look at what to do if you get a message that pops up telling you that you cannot find High Tech Meat Manager start list when you're trying to configure your flash timing program. Uh, or if you make changes in your High Tech program to the heat sheets, if you add somebody or take somebody out or combine heats and those changes are not showing up in your flash timing program, um, those issues are related and we'll try to address each one of those. So let's say you're trying to configure your flash timing program. You've got this box. You've got it set to the CTF meets folder. Um, you click OK and you get this message here that pops up. Cannot find high tech meet manager start list. Well, that's not going to work. So let's figure out what's going on here. Um, we'll close this out. Um, I want you to look at the file explorer so we can see kind of what's going on in there. If you go to the C drive of the high tech computer you'll see this folder called TF Meets. Now, if you have version 3 of High Tech, it'll be TF Meets 3. If you have version 4, it'll be TF Meets 4. And if you have version 5, it'll be TF Meets 5. Those are variations of the same folder. Uh, so we'll open that folder, and we'll see in there we have two databases. These are two Meets that we have previously set up in High Tech, and nothing else is in that folder. When you update the start list in High Tech, it's going to create three little temporary files. One is a schedule file, one is the entry file, and one is the event list. Um, these are the temporary files that Flash Timing is looking for to be able to pull these over into that program. So we need to figure out how to get those in there. So if we go back to the High Tech program, go over to the Interfaces tab, click down to Photo Finish, and go over here and click Update Start List. That's going to create those temporary files. So we make sure we have the correct session selected, Go down here and make sure we have the correct location, TF Meets folder, that's correct. Click OK, and we get a button box that pops up now telling us we've successfully saved the start list. So we click that. We'll open back up our flash timing program, see if we can find that start list now. We've got the scoring folder set. Click OK, and there's our event list. Now, if you have multiple computers networked together and you're doing the capture on one computer and you have high tech on another computer you need to make sure that the uh, scoring folder is set to the correct computer because both if you have high tech on both computers there that TF meets folder will be on both computers we need to go back and make sure it's set to the co correct computer so if we go back to the configure um, see it's set to the CTF meets 4 that is the hard drive of the computer that we're working on if you have a networked computer it may need to be on the other TF meets folder. So we're going to click select scoring folder. Um, if you have computers networked together, go down to the box that says network, expand that out, and it will find now we see the two networked computers. The capture computer is what we have the flash timing program on, and the scoring computer is what we have um, the high tech program on. Right now, the scoring folder is set for the C drive of this computer, so we may need to change it to the other computer. So if we click on scoring computer here you'll go down and see the TF meets folder select that folder click OK it'll pull up the file you should be ready to go now you will still need to update the start list on the high-tech computer that you just set in order for that event list to be able to pull over so make sure you go update the start list in the other computer you just set and that should fix your problem now if you've made changes in high-tech and you uh, can't get them to pull up you need to make sure every time you make a change, you need to go back and update the start list. Now, after you originally set this up, when you make changes, you can just click this box and it will update the changes you made in high tech. Um, it, it, whenever they changes are made, make sure you click this little blue box here. This is the refresh button, and that will refresh and pull in the new, the new start list, which will be created every time you update the start list. So hopefully that's how to fix those problems. If you have additional questions, Email me at rick at flashtiming.com.